Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sweeviver. Long time no see. I know that. Sorry guys, don't hate me. I've been a busy man lately. I work for Pimax full time and I'm also a father to Christopher, my son, which is now nine months old. So yeah, life is not what it used to be. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing great. I have been digging into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 for the past months. I've been really spending a lot of time with it, testing it, tweaking it, optimizing it, specifically for Pimax VR headsets such as the Pimax 8KX. And I will follow up this video uh, very soon with some really cool videos that will give you the, my best tweaks, my best settings on how you turn Flight Simulator 2020 into something really smooth and beautiful because out of the box it's not really that great, specifically not in VR and the performance is really bad if you're not tweaking it enough. Anyway, since I've been digging so deep into Flight Simulator, I have found some really cool mods as well, some add-ons and I am gonna share a lot of them in upcoming videos from now and then. Today I would like to start by showing you a mod which has been out for maybe two months or so already. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's called Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Google Map Replacement. This mod is completely for free, so you can just download it and use it unlimited without paying anything. Of course, I will give you the links in the video description and also at the end of this video I'll also show you quickly how you set it up. It's really, really simple. Now, what is this mod about? Imagine flying in flight simulator wherever you are in the world and using the Google Maps textures, the Google Maps satellite photography around the entire world. Well, some of you might wonder why, because Bing Maps are really great and they have been improved a lot uh, by the Asobo team together with other companies which has really enhanced the experience for the Flight Simulator 2020, but as you know, Google Maps will always be better. Wherever you're looking, basically in every single town, in every village, every remote area, it always looks better on Google Maps compared to Bing Maps. And that is sad because now we have such a beautiful flight simulator such as MSFS 2020, which is probably the best or definitely the best simulator out there ever. But we want more. We want even more details on the scenery. And of course, you could import a lot of the custom sceneries which, is art, which are out there. Some of them are free, some of them cost a lot. They, uh, some of them has been imported from Google Maps together with photogrammetry like the buildings and some custom trees, custom objects and all that. But this mod is so simple to use because once you install it and once you start off Flight Simulator, it just runs in the background and what it does, it replaces every single texture your Flight Simulator is loading up wherever you're flying. It's basically not loading the textures from Bing. It's loading the textures from Google Maps. And what is the result here? Well, the result here is a high resolution. Most of the, in most of the areas around the world, the Google Maps textures are more high resolution. That's the first part. The second part is that those maps on Google or those textures are way better updated. Some of them are brand new from this year, from last year, while Bing is not updating the world textures as often. It's not taking new satellite imaginary around the world so often. There are places which haven't been updated for like 10 years and you can really tell that when flying around in smaller cities and in suburbs and places which are not so super popular to fly on. Maybe you're living in a small city somewhere in Germany or Sweden as I do and you just wish to be able to see your house or your car maybe like if in the textures on the ground while you're flying low with the with the Cessna or whatever. Now with the Google Maps it's actually more possible. I won't say it's perfect but it's way better in most areas around the world. So what is really improved? As I said, the sharpness of the textures is most of the time better. There's mo more details. There are newly updated, m most of the textures at least. 
Also, there are areas on the Bing maps or the Bing uh, database which doesn't even have any textures for some specific areas like in China, in Northern Russia, maybe some parts in Af Africa as well. So these textures has just been auto-generated by the Microsoft Azure servers or something like that. Now Google on the other hand has basically the entire world. So wherever you're flying in the world with your Cessna, wherever you're flying on low altitude or high altitude, you will see some very detailed, sharp and updated textures around the world. What you're seeing here, a couple of examples I've made, uh, specifically in Sweden but also in the United States. And I want to show you the difference how much better it actually looks with the Google Maps textures instead of the Bing Maps. Now remember all the buildings which also are called uh, photogrammary which are auto generated or they are created from the ground textures which Bing, I mean that's quite a massive work that Bing has done to create those 3D buildings, 3D trees and also those auto generated two dimensional trees. All of these are still the same. What's the difference here with this mod is only the ground textures wherever you are. And even though the buildings, yeah, we might wish that the Google Maps buildings would could be added automatically. Well, that, at this point it's not possible unless you do it manually for every single little city or village or wherever you import uh, into Flight Simulator, which is quite a big project but with this mod it's just so simple you load it up you start a flight simulator and you're not longer loading the Bing maps you're basically loading the Google maps instead and you're just enjoying a more beautiful more refined more detailed and more sharp scenery around the globe Another good thing is that you can still use the rolling catch which is a feature in flight simulator uh, before you do this, before you install this mod, I highly recommend you to first delete your currently existing rolling catch because otherwise it could conflict with this mod and all the Google Maps uh, textures. But remember, everything is streamed from the, from the cloud anyway, just the way it's, it's working right now with Bing Maps. So it doesn't really make any difference. You won't see a difference in loading times as well. I think it really runs great. I don't see any performance hit at all, even though the textures are so much more sharp and detailed. And they just feel way more high resolution in many areas. Now I gotta add this, that some areas around the world, specifically some big cities like New York City, uh, some parts of San Francisco and some other major cities uh, around the world might not be that improved with Google Maps because Bing Maps already have some really high definition textures for these. So it's not going to be a, like a wow moment, or like a wow factor when you're loading up New York City or Manhattan for the first time with this new mod. In my example, where I'm flying from LaGuardia in New York and heading for central Manhattan, I do not see any difference at all in the textures. Maybe there is some slight difference, but I don't think there's anything that's really noticeable. But outside of these some of these big cities, there's a massive difference and that's what you, what you have seen already in my examples here. Okay, so how do you install this mod or where do you get it first of all? Now first go into flightsim.to or flightsim2 and search for Google Map Replacement. That's all and you will instantly find this mod over there. Scroll down almost to the bottom of the page and just click on download. The latest version right now is 2.2.1 and the developer is uh, constantly updating this mod and improving it of course. So check back in like a week or two or a month uh, because there might be some improvements in this mod coming up. If you don't have an account on flightsim.to you can create one for free of course. The mod itself is super small, I think it's like 35 megabytes in total. Now once downloaded, extract the zip file wherever you want on your computer, it doesn't really matter. Once you have extracted it, just go into that folder and right click on the file run.bat. Now once you've done that, click on run as administrator. This is really important, so just don't double click on this uh, file, you have to run it in as administrator uh, privileges. Now, 
Once it's started, first you're gonna see a command prompt window, which is displaying some Python installation and stuff, which is not really important. This is what the mod needs to work. Once that's done, a new window pops up. Now here you have a couple of tabs. First, the first one help, you don't really have to worry about that tab. There's nothing really here you need to do. The next tab is proxy. Here, if you're living in a country such as China, where Google Maps is uh, basically censored or blocked from your ISP or from your internet, you need to use a proxy. If you are living in any other country like in Europe or in the United States, you don't need any proxy because Google is just open for public and it's available, right? So you can simply remove that proxy line, just empty it completely and uh, you can also click on test the connection. Uh, once you've done that, uh, in the map server there is a tab, there are a couple of maps, uh, Google Maps servers. I'm just keeping it on mt1.google.com. Anyway, now you're set. Right below here you see two buttons. It says run, the other one says stop. And uh, on the left side it says stopped right now. Once you click on run, the whole thing just starts off. Now you're gonna get some Windows security alerts and you have to allow access to nginx.exe and also to python.exe to, to make the mod to work basically. And, in the, and you need to keep both those windows open, both the command prompt window and the MSFS 2020 Google map. You have to have it open as long as you're playing with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So the only thing you have to do now is just start up Flight Simulator 2020, uh, start up any flight anywhere in the world and you will immediately see the difference. You will immediately see that the Google Maps are loaded instead of Bing Maps. Now once you are done playing for the day or whatever, you need to click on the stop button which stops the mod from running so it's not longer connected to the Google server uh, fetching any kind of textures or so. And um, yeah, that's it. That's how easy it is. And one more thing which is super important. You still keep the Bing Maps and the Photogrammery options in Flight Simulator. You still keep them on. You never turn them off. Because if you do turn them off, you will not see the buildings or the trees anymore. Then you will only see the Google Maps textures but nothing else on top of that. So just keep everything, all the settings as they are in Flight Simulator. Don't change anything except for clearing the rolling catch, clearing or deleting. I'm actually not using a rolling catch at all lately because I get better performance not using it. I have a quite fast internet connection that probably helps a lot. Anyway, do not change any other settings in Flight Simulator. You don't have to for this mod to work. Also, don't forget to check out the GitHub page for this mod because there is one. And a sh shout out, big shout out to the mod developer. Uh, thank you so much for, for creating this mod, for making this possible. This is just awesome. He also has, I think he has like a PayPal donation link you could use if you wanted to support him. And uh, make sure to always have the latest version updated. So check if there's any update coming, uh, which will probably come every week at least. If you have any issues uh, setting this up, uh, please check out the comments in the flightsim.to or go into uh, the GitHub page. You will also get some information and some more instructions on how to install the whole thing. It's super simple. For me it worked the first time and it, it keeps working every time. Just, you just have to remember to run this thing before you start off Flight Simulator. Guys, let me know what you think about this mod. I think this is awesome. To be honest, I don't know what Microsoft thinks about it, specifically what Google thinks about this. I'm not sure if they really like this, but so far so good, it works and let's just be happy and uh, <laughs> let's hope this mod continues to work from now on. Thanks for watching, see ya, bye.